enemy We are so meant to be Why can't you see that? I see your eyes are a twinkle Why don't you just let go? Cut on me some slack Cause the more you ignore me The more you show me I'm on the right track You play to get the higher I place my bet. I'm a patient man. The harder you try to resist, the harder will be our first kiss. I'm a patient man. The more you deny me, the more you inspire me. I'm a patient man. Baby, I'm a patient. Come on, it's important. It's probably the most important stuff. Yeah, but look at this. I was a real douchebag. Well, what was I, motherfucking Teresa? Come on, we were all douchebags. That's why we're here. Let me see the list. Oh, I think I'm gonna skip this one. Stop being a pansy. Jeez. I'm sure I've seen worse. Fuck, I'm sure I've done worse. It can't be that bad. Well, it's pretty fucking bad, dude. What? You suck dick for drugs? <laughs> oh! I never suck dick. You never suck dick. Okay. You never blew anyone for a hit? No. Can we move on? Please. Maybe I haven't hit bottom. Oh, believe me, I hit bottom and then some. You never? No, never. I hope you're not just in denial, because then you're wasting my time. I'm not. I've done worse things than suck on a dick, all right? Oh, oh no, I see. no, no, nothing sexual, just some fucked up shit. Okay, okay, enough of this shit. Let me see the fucking list. Come on, hand it over. Stop being a girl. Martha, what would you do to your dad? No, 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 not my father. My father, like the priest. A priest? Yes, a priest. A priest, oh. Do you mind? What would you do to the priest? Oh, when you were a kid? No, like a few years ago. What the fuck are you doing? I don't know. Me? I don't know. I don't know. I needed. I was fucked. I needed cash. I thought the church was giving me money to go away. Jesus. I know. Instead, they started this whole investigation and raped Father Walter over the coals. Wow. Yes, don't judge me. You really are a douchebag. I know. You see why I can't face him? No. No, I disagree. You have to face him. You have to explain to him how, why you did what you did and how you get your act together and all your shit together. You don't get it. They almost tossed this guy out and they took this shit very seriously. Yeah, but he's a priest for fuck's sake. They're all about forgiveness and shit. You'll be okay. What are you doing here? Look, I, I have an order of protection against you. Look, I don't want to make any trouble. Well, I, 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 I just need a minute of your time, and you'll never see me again. What do you want? Well, I, um... Come on, look, spit it out. Spit, spit okay, it out. I, I know I did some terrible things to you, and I can't change that, but, but I, I... You have got to be kidding. You have got to be kidding. That is an understatement. You almost had me excommunicated. You had me publicly humiliated. I still can't go near children, should I go no, away? No, 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 I, I, I know I did a number on you and I'm sorry Sorry? Yes, sorry. I, I, need, I want you to know I was out of my mind on drugs at the time. I don't give a damn why you did what you did. That is up to you and God to discuss. Okay, I, I need you to know I'm trying to pull my life together, and, and I'm truly sorry for what's 
what happened. I don't care what you do with your miserable life as long as you stay away from me and my life. So take your half-ass apologies and get the fuck away from me and my church before I call the cops and have you locked up. Way to turn the other cheek, father. No! No, I'm saying hey, hey, that shit. No, I'm hey, telling hey, that fucking no, cut. No, cut no, no, no. Ah. Hey. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you feel a little better? Aren't you glad you got that off your chest? Strangely. No, not a fuck at all. He hit me. Good. <laughs> I couldn't have guessed you have a gift. <laughs> it's not funny. They had to pull him off of me. Okay, but it's done. It's not hanging over you anymore. You did good. Good? Really? This is good? <laughs> I'm done with this shit. No, no, no. You can't give up now. Anything worthwhile is hard. He was a fucking priest, and he fucking hit me. Okay, enough of the poor me shit. You did fuck the guy over, didn't you? And he's gonna have to answer to his boss for that. Now, who's next, your ex? No fucking way. I'll write her a letter or something. I, I, she, I, she's capable of violence. What kind of pussy shit is that? You fucked her over face to face. Be a man and go apologize face to face. Hell fucking no, she's totally nuts. And I really fucked her over. She's totally different. She's you do, teaching yoga. She's in therapy. Yeah, that I put her in. No, 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 she's in the program. She understands these things. She knows how they work. Oh, really? I ruined her credit. I stole anything I could sell of hers. I totaled her car. Fucked her sister. Mm. You fuck Kristen? Yeah. Nice! <laughs> She's hot! Thanks. I know. The point is, she doesn't want to see me. Can we go someplace else? Yeah, the coffee here is great. Yeah, but the waitress is kind of a bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. You're the one that can't face your girlfriend. <laughs> See? <laughs> so she sort of has a point. Y'all are acting like a little bitch right now. Okay, this is just a bad fucking idea, okay? Let's just look. I know it's hard. But it helps us move forward. Besides, you're gonna find a totally different girl than the one you knew. She's all zen-like, she's got a complete 180. Besides, it will probably give her a little closure too. Wow, I'm really glad you found your way out. I thought you were a goner. It's good to see you. You look great. Honestly, I was scared to face you. <laughs> Don't be silly. There's too much to carry in this world. No sense carrying around a grudge, too. Wow. <laughs> You've really come a long way from that girl trying to set me on fire. <laughs> wow, I was out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. But, I mean, I did give you a good reason to be. <laughs> that you did. That you did. But look at you, the way you're just sitting there. Wow. You're inspirational. Well, I gotta admit, Therapy helped a lot. Dr. Cure is my savior. You should really go see her. She really helped me get through all of my anger, and there was a ton of that. And yoga, oh, that was the icing. It really helps me to stay grounded and see what's important. That's good. I'm happy for you. Yeah, I was carrying around all of that anger and bitterness. It was toxic. Look, I just want you to know I'm truly sorry for all the crap I put you through. <laughs> You mean like selling my jewelry and claiming the apartment got robbed? Yeah, yeah I figured you didn't believe that one. <laughs> no, no I didn't. <laughs> Love is blind, not retarded. Uh, or totally your new car before you had it insured? Ouch, yeah, that was bad. You were a bad boyfriend. I was the worst. <laughs> no argument there. Yeah. Or getting all those credit cards in your name to sell shit to buy for drugs? Oh, I forgot about that. Why, why didn't you use your own name? Well, that was going to give me credit. <laughs> or the time I tried to sell the refrigerator? Oh, I can't believe I blocked all this shit out. You were shit. <laughs> I was the worst boyfriend ever. I can't believe I put up with your ass. I know, I'm sorry. But I'm trying to be more like you now. <laughs> and I, I need you to know, the thing with your sister, it was so unexpected before I knew what was going on. Just oh, happened. Fucking Kristen. Always had to have everything I did. My fucking Barbie, 
My fucking makeup. My good for nothing fucking boyfriend. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, I think I think I should be going. You think what? You're gonna come in here and be all cleansed of all your sins? That I am in the program now. Sorry for destroying your life. La dee da. Is that what you think? No, oh, no, no. I, I just think I should be going. Oh, sure. Shit and run. Fucking story of your life. You're a fucking parasite. Fuck the world. I got mine. No, no, no. It's just, it's getting late. I'm upsetting you. <laughs> Upset? <laughs> what makes you think I'm upset? I, I'm... I'm... You're a fucking disease. That's what you are. A fucking cancer. That's what you are. Ugh. Uh, what you told me to. Thank you very much. Where's your shirt? Uh, my shirt? In the clutches of some fucking nut bar. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you sure bring out the worst of me. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm done with this step. Oh, you should see her. She's different. Okay, I'm gonna bring you closure. I almost had a closed casket. How's that for fucking closure? Calm down. You don't realize it, but you're already healed. Really? Healing? This is healing? What's the fucking cure? Death? You don't realize this. But you left a wake of destruction in your path. You can't expect people to just forgive and forget. You gotta face these problems, otherwise you're gonna do them again. <coughs> okay, let's say I face my leg, okay? What's step 10? Slow down there, buddy. When are done yet? I am done. What about your brother in law Oh, fuck. Absolutely. He's a total sociopath. I saw him beat a guy having death over a parking spot, let alone all the shit I did to him. Yeah, but he likes you. He was always worried when you were at MIA. He'd call and say that your, your sister was worried about you. We'd seen you. Yeah, he, most, he probably wanted to find me so he could murder me. No, he likes you. He gave you a job. When yes, no and did. I repaid him by robbing him blind, stealing his van, fucking his sister, burning his warehouse to the Whoa. ground. What was that between uh, stealing the van and burning down the warehouse? What, fucking his sister? You fuck Steph! She's fucking hot! <laughs> I know. And she's a total man, and he has no idea. He thinks he's a virgin. She's a virgin or something. He's very protective of her. Well, he's not gonna kill his wife's brother. Oh my. Hello, have you seen The Godfather? <laughs> Mike says the same thing to Connie, and boom, she's a widow. Jesus, he's not Don Corleone. He's your brother in law. <sighs> he will fucking murder me. I'm not kidding. All right. What you do this? You call him, and if he sounds hot, you don't have to go. I'll accept that. But you gotta face your mistakes. Are you trying to get me killed? Are you supposed to be helping me? I you don't know this guy the way I know him. He's fucking wacky. Listen, just make a call. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. It's great to hear from you. I, I, <laughs> you don't know how happy I am you found that program. Your sister is going to be ecstatic. Look, just come on by. We'll talk. I put on a pot of coffee. I got that Kona stuff you like. Yeah, no, no. I'm very, very happy you found that program. I'll see you soon. Okay, I guess I'll see you soon. Bye. You're right. He sounds fine. I told you. Mmm, it's tasty. This coffee's tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, look who's finally coming around. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. All right, listen to me. I'm going to take this off of you, but you got to keep it down. I got neighbors and their pains in the asses. All right? Mm -hmm. Quiet. Understand? Mm -hmm. Not so I know you understand. Okay. <sighs> I like it. Oh, good what to see you. This has been a long time. What the fuck, Jimmy? Nuts. What are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm helping you. I'm helping you hit bottom. In your case, that's the bottom of the ocean. Oh, come on, Jimmy. What happened? I'm happier in the program. Oh, I am happier in the program. The program brought you right here to me. It works if you work it. 
Okay, look, Jimmy, if you're trying to freak me out, done. I think I just shit myself. You know, first I was just gonna pop you in the head as soon as you got here. And then I said to myself, what would Dexter do? Dexter? Who the, who the fuck is Dexter? Oh, you don't know Dexter? Dexter is kind of like the Martha Stewart of murder and dismemberment. You get a lot of great ideas from that guy. You see this? It's plastic. That's him. I can't even take credit for that. Oh, you're fucking brilliant. Isn't that show HBO? It's not HBO. It's Showtime. HBO sucks now. But yeah, that's him. That's Dexter. Look, Jimmy, I'm just I'm trying to get my shit together. I'm trying to... It's a man. Oh, whoa, 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 I think I heard all this before. You're getting your life together, you're off the drugs. When was that? Oh, right, right before you burned my motherfucking warehouse to the ground. I swear that was an accident, Jimmy. I swear it. I Not swear according it. to the courts. According to the courts, it was arson. And you know who they said did it? Me. They said I did it. I told them, no, it was an accident. My motherfucking brother-in-law, you know, he fucking accidentally burned the thing to the ground. But you know what? Funny, they didn't fucking buy that shit. They said, I did all of this for the insurance money, which, oh, by the way, I didn't get a fucking dime of. Thank you very much. I, I can go to them. I can, I can, I can tell them the truth. They'll, they'll believe me. Really? You would do that for me? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, you are the sweetest. Unfortunately, my friend, you're a little fucking late. About 14 fucking months. Come on, Jimmy, please. This is not going to solve anything. It's not going to fix anything. You know something, my friend? That's where you are fucking wrong. <laughs> it's going to fix the part of me that's been fucking dying to fucking kill you. Listen, I got fucking neighbors. I told you, they're pains in the fucking ass. If I fart too loud down here, they fucking complain. So, this is what we're going to do, my friend. First, I'm going to cut your throat. And I'm gonna bleed you out. And then I'm gonna chop you up into little fucking bite-sized pieces and stick you in some Ziploc bags. Then guess what? We're gonna go for a nice ride in the boat. Oh, about an hour out. I'm gonna feed you to the little fucking mermaids. How's that sound? Good plan, huh? Ooh. It's gonna be fucking great. All right, unfortunately, first, I gotta go buy a Costco and get some Ziplocs. I wasn't expecting you to come by all work in the program. <laughs> I'm fucking ill-prepared. So listen, when I'm away, you keep it down, okay, friend? Mm. I don't want to come back here, hear you all noisy. If you're fucking noisy, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Life is fucking trippy. Now you keep it down. Don't get my neighbors upset, all right? Okay. 
bad boy. <laughs> but first, you gotta meet Big Ben. Who the f... Who, who is... Who's Big Ben? Not who, silly. <laughs> mm. Big Ben is my strap on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She won't fall in my arms, not enthralled by my charm. She's a tough nut to crack. When hear a word that I say, no, she don't want to play, giving me her back. But the more you ignore me, the more you assure me I'm on the right track. Party play to get the higher I place my bet. I'm a patient man. The harder you try to resist, the harder will be our first kiss. I'm a patient man. Baby, the more you deny me, the more you inspire me. I'm a patient man. Baby, I'm a patient. So I know you understand. <laughs> I hope you're rolling, because I'm probably gonna make an outtakes grill. Uh, that's no good. Not so I know you understand. <laughs> no, no.